Hey guys, we're gonna show you one of our favorite dinners. We're gonna show you step by step from the parking lot to in your face. All right, so we're gonna take our chicken tikka masala. There's two packets in here. So like the way I like to do this is I take one of them. Uh, this is a pot, so you need something that's fairly big to hold everything in it. The heat is on a little bit more than medium, so medium-ish high. And you're just gonna, the coolest thing about this meal is all you need is a pot and a pair of scissors or a knife, that's it. So you'll dump the first bag in there. Everything's pre-cooked. So really all we're doing is just cooking the veggies down. I mean, technically you could eat this cold. But what we're going to do is we're just going to put all this stuff in there at once. So there's the first thing of chicken. Thai coconut skillet kick it. Oh, show me that again. Skillet kit. Right? Okay. So we cut this one open too. Cut that guy open. And we're going to dump everything out. So it's gonna have this little bag. So there's the veggies. Oh jeez. Okay. Here's the bag of good stuff. We're gonna take out the curry. Okay. okay. We'll cut it open as well. All right, and we'll just put that right on top of everything. Doesn't really matter. It's all gonna get mixed up. We're just gonna get this stuff cooking down. Curry. Now I like to take the Thai chili mango, which now that first bag was like broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, snap peas, and this one is more of a mixed greens. So there's a bunch of like little like salad mixed stuff in there, but it cooks down good. So another bag of goodies. Now this bag has the Thai sauce in it which this stuff is kind of spicy. So if you like really spicy, add all of it. If you like medium, add a little bit. Basically however hot you want it. Okay, so we're almost filling up. And then we go back through with the more chicken on top. Cut this guy open as well. Put that guy on top and let all of that good stuff kind of all sit and mix together. Again, chicken's already cooked, so you don't have to check anything. Now you're going to leave all the dry stuff out for the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a lid on top of our pot. I will set our timer, mm -hmm. right? So, timer for 10 minutes. Okay. And then go get in the shower, go walk around, do whatever you want to do. Just leave it be, and we'll check in in a minute. All right, so we're 10 minutes in, and we're going to take that lid off. You can kind of see some of the smoke. You can kind of hear it, but you see how it's not really mixed up yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend a little bit of time just getting all of that dressing, that curry sauce, that chicken, all those veggies, all into a nice, good mix. Stir it around a whole bunch until everything is covered and those sauces. Now you can just leave it. If you want it to be more steamed, just take your lid, put it back on, and you can really get all those veggies to steam up in there and get nice and soft. It takes about another eight to 10 minutes roughly. And you can go back to whatever you were doing before. Go get the shower, go get things taken care of. Just let it be. Uh, if you were wanting another carbohydrate source, you would have started white rice in a pressure in a cooker earlier, or 90 second bag of white rice, um, and basmati rice, and add that in at the end. Um, that's completely optional to you if you want to do that. So we'll check back in about 10 minutes. All right, so about 10 minutes. So we take this lid off, 
And as you can see, see how it's all bubbling up, right? Now you want to take it off the heat and let it kind of um, condense down a little bit. And then maybe a little more stirring around, just make sure nothing's burning off the bottom. Good to go. It's done. Nice and soupy. See, look at all that yummy goodness. Um, We'll let it calm down and I'll show you plating. All right, so if we're using a hand portion guide as like a, a little bit of reference, it's about a cup for my serving size. Uh, so it's a mix of all the proteins and fats and vegetables already in there. One. Two. Three. Okay. And then Danielle's would be about two. Um, it's a about 600-ish calories, and then you just take little crunchies, and you just spread about half the bag of that crunchy, those crunchies, I have no idea what these crunchies are, these are pumpkin seeds, those crunchies, and these crunchies okay and there's some white rice on the bottom from uh, another day basmati rice is probably what we recommend for the white rice and that's it so you've got you a good well-rounded meal that was very easy and low intensive right didn't have to do anything put everything in a pot cook it all down put it into a bowl put it in your face 